Assalamu alaikum, peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all. Welcome to the land of sacrifice. Welcome to the land of bravery. Welcome to the land of Hussein and Abbas. Welcome to Karbala. Respected viewers, this is the show where you can uh, pour out your hearts in the holy land of Karbala, particularly uh, whereas we st we are, we're broadcasting for you uh, from the area within the of, uh, of between the holy shrines of Imam Hussein and his brother Abu al-Fadl Abbas. Peace and blessings of Allah be upon them all. Uh, so my dear viewers, I want you to uh, pour out your hearts uh, and see the holy land of Karbala and feel the blessings of the holy of, of the Ahlul Bayt. Peace and blessings of Allah be upon them. Now my dear viewers, I would like to turn your attention to the segments of the social media where you can see it on our screen, so stay tuned. Respective viewers, back to you from within the area of between the holy shrines of Imam Hussein and his brother Abu al-Fadl Abbas. Peace and blessings of Allah be upon them. Uh, but before I begin with the show, I would like to present my sincere apologies to you, my dear viewers, for we had a bit of a difficulties to start up with the show, uh, a bit of a technical difficulties. And inshallah, the show is going on as you see it right now. Uh, before we begin with uh, our regular uh, reading for the messages and comments, uh, let's go uh, for and feel the auspicious occasion of the marriage of the light of the Ahlul Bayt, peace and blessings of Allah be upon them, the marriage of Amir al Mu'mineen, Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib, alayhi salam, and the daughter of the Holy Prophet, Our Lady Fatima al Zahra peace and blessings of Allah be upon her and what a blissful marriage that the Holy Prophet mentioned in, uh, in many narrations and spoke about in different occasions and uh, there are a lot of narrations from the Ahlul Bayt including the ones that say the best of my Ummah are the ones who got married in the way Lady Fatima got married. You see the marriage of Lady Fatima, we can take it as a role model for all of us, for, the, uh, for those who want to start a life for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the path of the Ahlul Bayt uh, A simple marriage that took place, but that simple marriage resulted in the best that could be. You know, the marriage of Amir al muminin and Lady Fatima as, as much as it was simple, it resulted in, the, uh, in two Imams and uh, of course in one of the most great women in, 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 in the history, Lady Zainab, peace and blessings of Allah be upon her. And what a blissful, uh, what a blissful children they have, uh, Imam al Hassan, Imam al Hussein, and Lady Zainab. Uh, all of them went on the path of their forefathers, went on the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, sacrificed their life, sacrificed uh, the best that they could sacrifice. Imam Hussein sacrificed his life, sacrificed his, his sons, his companions, his family. He sacrificed everything for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And thus, uh, that's what I want to uh, bring up to you, my dear viewers, is that simple marriages often result in great things, in, in, in great results, uh, results that might, you know, enlighten both of the uh, spouses and they might have had a great life happily ever after since the marriage had no difficulties. But yet you can see the problem in our societies uh, nowadays, uh, the, uh, the basically, Basically, the marriage has became one of the most difficult thing 
for, for, for young men to do. Now, my dear viewers, uh, I would like to, uh, to go back for our uh, live streaming on Facebook as uh, my fellows on the, uh, the, in the production room are telling me that I'm receiving names. Uh, and inshallah ta'ala will get to uh, read those names and and uh, those names would be inshallah written uh, to be delivered to the holy shrine of Imam Hussein peace and blessings of Allah be upon him so uh, uh, now before I start reading names I would like uh, to read the ziyarah of Aba Abdullah peace and blessings of Allah be upon him uh, part of Ziyarat Ashura. Now, please uh, pour out your hearts with me. Uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, Assalamu alayka ya Aba Abdullah wa ala al-arwah allati hallat bi thanaika wa anakhat bi rahlika alayka minni salamullahi abadan ma baqita wa baqiya al-layl wa al-nahar wa la ja'alahu Allahu akhir al-ahdi minni li ziyaratikum ahl al-bayt. Assalamu ala al-Hussein wa ala Ali ibn al-Hussein wa ala awlad al-Hussein wa ala ashab al-Hussein al-lazina dhahu bidima'ihim min ajl al-Hussein alaykum minni salamullahi wa rahmatuhu wa barakatuh Now my dear viewers, uh, back to your uh, messages and, uh, and of course comments uh, We have uh, brother Shane Haida Naqvi says, Assalamu alayka ya Aba Abdullah wa ala al-arwah al-lati hallat bi fanaik alayka minni salamullahi abadan ma baqitu wa baqiya al-laylu wa al-nahar wa la ja'alahu Allahu akhir al-ahdi minni li ziyaratikum ahl al-bayt Assalamu ala al-Hussein wa ala Ali ibn al-Hussein wa ala ashab al-Hussein alayhim salamullahi jami'a Thank you very much, my brother, for uh, giving me this great opportunity of uh, reciting the ziyara again. And inshallah, the blessings of this ziyara will go back to your uh, mizan, for your hasanat, inshallah ta'ala. And inshallah that uh, Abu Abdullah al-Hussein, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, accepts your uh, salutations, accepts your dua, and that you might be uh, called to be in the Holy Land of Karbala, called to visit uh, this piece of paradise so that you can feel the blessings of the Ahlul Bayt Now as I, as I see uh, thousands of pilgrims since it is the, uh, it is the Thursday night where uh, the Holy Land of Karbala witnesses a, a massive uh, ziyara which is Ziyarat Waris, you often know about that. We see now uh, Dozens of thousands of pilgrims uh, sitting uh, in between of the holy shrines, sitting in the area of, of, of Bain al Haramain, reciting their du'as, enjoying uh, the blessings of the Ahlul Bayt. Such thing that I would love to pray for all of you to experience, inshallah, my brothers and sisters, that you might be here in the holy land of Karbala, that you might get to. Uh, visit the holy shrine of Imam Hussein and the holy shrine of Hadrat Abbas, peace and blessings of Allah be upon them. And not only that, but inshallah that uh, you, my brothers and sisters, get to visit the holy shrines in Iraq, where you can get to see the Imams and you get to see uh, the historical, uh, historical materials that are related to the Imams, uh, historical uh, monuments, historical uh, mosques, historical maqamat of the Ahlul Bayt السلام, that, uh, that begin from within the south of, of, of Iraq from Basra city up until uh, Ramadi and the west of Iraq and Nainawa which is historically mentioned as the area that uh, the, uh, the mokib, the procession of the, uh, the sabaya, those who were taken as captives has passed uh, through Iraq, through the north of Iraq to Damascus. Inshallah, my brothers and sisters, I often uh, pray for all of you. Pray that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you the privilege, grant you this blessings to be in Iraq, to feel the blessings of the Ahlul Bayt and to perform the pilgrimage from within there 
holy shrine so that you can see you can see how it is to be in the holy land of Karbala you can see people from different nationalities uh, going in, in, in one rhythm praying in the same way acting the same way uh, reciting the same dua uh, eating from the same food that is presented from the same servants the servants of Aba Abdullah Hussein alayhi salam so uh, basically it's like the message of Imam Hussein unites us all and often Imam Hussein unites us all Imam Hussein have always united uh, the people around the world and uh, the, the most simple event to that you, that we can see and inshallah you'll see it soon the pilgrimage of Arba'een where you can get to see people from different nationalities from different parts of the world coming along together in the holy land of Karbala to perform the same pilgrimage for the same person uh, that has sacrificed himself for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and thus you see those millions unite together despite of the uh, despite of the political games that leaders might play to separate peoples despite the fact that uh, invasions and uh, political issues set barriers between the between the people of the world and you get to see now different different nations and different names uh, th those that were in the past you know not 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 very not very uh, long in the past uh, 200 years ago there was uh, there were basically no borders and people from Iran can come easily to visit uh, Iraq can come easily to perform the pilgrimage in Iraq and thus and so on and so forth uh, and uh, our main subject is that Aba Abdullah al Hussein unites us all. Aba Abdullah al Hussein has always not only united uh, Shias, not only united also Muslims, but unite all the people from all over the world, even those who who are not paying attention to perform the pilgrimage. They are they are paying their attention to the to the to the to the uh, vast generosity to the. Uh, to the masses that come to the same to the same area to the holy land of karbala and they often wonder and they often come to the holy land of karbala to discover those secrets themselves and they are often as uh, we see uh, my brothers and sisters we've we've we've, we've witnessed a lot of uh, a lot of conversion processes that that took place in karbala here from within the holy shrine of imam hussein those who've seen and knew about Imam Hussein and, uh, and knew about uh, the, the, the revolution, knew about the major sacrifice that the Imam did and thus uh, basically uh, got, 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 got introduced to the, uh, to the Islamic history and got introduced to the Islamic theology and philosophy and all of that. Then they went on to conversion but let's see what put these people uh, to come to the Holy Land of Karbala, which was the fact that Imam Hussein has united uh, millions of people, despite of the uh, of the cultural differences, of the social differences, uh, you, you, uh, in the in the in the, in the pilgrimage of Arba'een, uh, on the path to Imam Hussein alayhi salam, you barely can't differentiate who's rich, who's poor, who's from this tribe, who's from this family who's from this nation even though uh, and they are all getting getting served by the same people the servants of Aba Abdullah they are all uh, uh, getting uh, getting their, their feet getting their souls walking instead of their physical bodies because you know if it was if it was for this this for the physical body it would uh, get exhausted in 10 12 hours of, of constant movement but when it comes to the soul when you motivate your soul, when you move on and walk along with your soul to Aba Abdullah al Hussein, it doesn't make a difference. Ten days, twenty days, even uh, walking and getting getting yourself exhausted. But though people are reaching to the Holy Land of Karbala, and thus I pray for all of you, my dear viewers, to witness those moments of blessings, to witness, uh, to witness and touch the blessings of the Ahlul Bayt alayhim salam where, uh, where you uh, can get to experience this exhaustion yourself 
uh, where you can uh, get to push out your spirits to the holy land of Karbala and never get tired and never get exhausted. And those actually are the blessings of the Ahlul Bayt. Alayhim Assalam. Peace and blessings of Allah be upon the Ahlul Bayt. Alayhim Assalam. Uh, it is. It is the aim of the of the of the lovers that come uh, to to be here to 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 be in this in this very piece of paradise. It is the the aim of my brothers that often say, for example, uh, now as I read the comments, uh, I have here my brother Aga Ali Hasnain. Aga Ali Hasnain, salam alaikum. Please convey our humblest salams at uh, the holy shrines of and offer ziyarat on behalf of my parents, entire family, and me also, and remember all of us in your dua. Jazakallah. Inshallah, my brother, I will be praying not only for you, but for all my uh, brothers and sisters, for all my, uh, for all the lovers of the Ahlul Bayt, peace and blessings of Allah be upon them. I'll pray for them under the holy dome of Imam Hussein, where no dua, uh, gets refused and inshallah all the hajat get fulfilled and inshallah I'll pray for your hajat to be fulfilled as often my dear uh, viewers the names that you mention are and your names of course uh, will be sent will be written by the protection team and be sent to the holy shrine of Imam Hussein peace and blessings of Allah be upon him and what a blessing that your names uh, get to be uh, get to be sent and put inside the holy grill, inside the holy dharih of Imam Hussein, and inshallah, you'll witness those blessings in your life. Now, my dear viewers, I leave you with a short break. Uh, live footages from the holy land of Karbala, from the area of between the holy shrines of Imam Hussein and his brother Abu Sabah Abbas. Peace and blessings of Allah be upon them. So, stay tuned. We'll be back soon. Karbala Arzume Karbala آقا توی سحن و سرات بیام روم و زمین نزن حسن جلو زریه و صفات بیام روم و زمین نزن حسن الله مرزقنا حرام
Assalamu alaikum, peace and blessings of Allah be upon you, back to you from within the area of between the holy shrines of Imam Hussein and his brother Abu al-Fadl Abbas. Peace and blessings of Allah be upon them. I would like to remind you to uh, call us on WhatsApp, uh, share our post on Facebook and uh, of course mention the names of uh, the loved ones, of your families uh, uh, and the, your friends. Uh, and all of those that you want to mention their names in our uh, Facebook uh, post, comment below. And uh, inshallah, those names will be written and delivered to the Holy Shrine of Imam Hussein, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. Now, as, uh, as I see right now, uh, uh, the, the pilgrims, uh, despite the fact that it is, uh, that it, is uh, you know, uh, that it has passed uh, the middle of the night, uh, we can get to see thousands of pilgrims walking around, uh, enjoying the blessings uh, of the Ahlul Bayt, alayhim salam, enjoying the, uh, the, the, the atmosphere of peace and tranquility uh, that they have right now. Uh, you know, a lot, of, uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of children, a lot of families, you know, entire families sitting right there and uh, enjoying, their, enjoying their moments of, of peace enjoying those uh, moments of, of tranquility where some of them are actually uh, uh, praying, some of them are reciting the uh, supplications and there are uh, some particular supplications, particular a'mal, particular sorts of uh, rituals for this, uh, let's say, uh, day and this pilgrimage. Uh, and we see people now uh, from within the... Uh, area of between the holy shrines that is locally known as Bainul Haramain performing their uh, th these rituals performing these prayers uh, uh, feeling the 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 the, uh, the moments of peace and tranquility and you get to see that uh, the constant movements between the holy shrines people coming from the shrine of Abu al-Fadl Abbas peace and blessings of Allah be upon them walking towards the Shrine of uh, Imam Hussein, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, and vice versa, people coming and going, uh, and they are actually uh, walking slowly. And if that means something, it means that these people are enjoying the utmost levels of peace. These people are enjoying uh, actually their time and enjoying the blessings of the Ahlul Bayt and of course they have the right to since it is a piece of paradise uh, you can get to see it everything about this area tells you that it is a piece of paradise even the temperature uh, which is uh, at the meantime it is, it is the summer and the summer is hot particularly in Iraq for those who have been here they know what I'm talking about Right now, at the moment, if you go down to the area of between the holy shrines and uh, you get to uh, walk around the shrines, you get to feel that it is th the weather is not that hot, is not the, uh, the temperature is not that high. And uh, you can get to feel the, the, the blessings of the Ahlul Bayt, alayhi salam. I believe I have a phone call. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. I just want to say salam to Mawla Hussain Salaam alayhi salam. Alaykum, I can't hear you. Could you Mawla Abbas alayhi salam. And we're going to congratulate them on the wedding of... Hello? We want to congratulate them on this... Uh, on the wedding of uh, Mawla Ali alayhi salam, Bibi Fatah Tazara salam alayhi And please Hello? pray for me that that uh, I get my job letter. I'm Brother? waiting for it. I believe the phone call is uh, is a bit of, of, of you know I can't hear the voice. It, they might have a bit of a problem with the uh, with the network. Inshallah, uh, keep calling us, my dear viewers. Uh, Inshallah, this problem will be solved, and I can get to uh, hear your voices and get to introduce you uh, to the piece of paradise that is called Karbala. 
uh, the land of Hussein and Abbas, peace and blessings of Allah be upon them, the land of, of bravery, uh, the utmost bravery, the utmost sacrifice, and of course the utmost sorrow that, uh, that we feel every time we pass upon the, uh, the remembrance of those who were martyred in this land. As long as we uh, uh, get to remember the calamities, get to remember the calamities that the Ahlul Bayt, peace and blessings of Allah be upon them, have, have been through this land. Their tents were basically burned and uh, their sons were killed right in front of their eyes. Uh, Imam Hussein's sons were both killed right in front of his eyes and of course uh, his brothers were also killed, his companions and, and particularly the companions that he said about there are no better companions than mine, the companions that were ready to sacrifice everything for the sake of Abu Abdullah, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and thus we had Karbala and thus we have this right now where we are basically living on the blessings of those who were martyred in the Holy Land of Karbala. Back to the atmosphere, I see now uh, a number of uh, brothers and sisters walking uh, within the, uh, from the area, uh, within the uh, uh, area of between the Holy Shrines of Imam Hussein and his brother Abu al-Fadl Abbas, peace and blessings of Allah be upon them. Uh, and as I said, people from different nationalities, I see right now right in front of my eyes, people from Iran, people from Pakistan, people, uh, locals basically from the Holy Land of Karbala and uh, uh, it, is, it is certain that people from the uh, uh, different parts of Iraq, different areas, different provinces of Iraq are also here and uh, I'm receiving, yes, uh, my brothers are telling me that I'm receiving comments uh, on Facebook, names on Facebook, inshallah ta'ala that your names will be written by the production team and of course be uh, sent to the holy shrine of Imam Hussein, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. Now, uh, uh, Shahinaz, Shahinaz uh, Jivraj says, uh, Labbayk ya Hussein, Labbayk ya Hussein, Labbayk ya Abbas, Labbayk ya Ahl al-Bayt, alayhim salam Asad Abbas says, Salam brother, sent my salam to Mawla Aba Abdullah, Mawla Aba Fadl Abbas, peace and blessings of Allah be upon them. Now, uh, my brother, inshallah, that your salam and uh, your salutation will be sent uh, to Aba Abdullah al-Hussein and of course to Aba Fadl Abbas, peace and blessings of Allah be upon them. Uh, Najah Musulmani says, Salam Imam Hussein, Abu Fadl Abbas. Help me now and my children, Latif, Rami, and Fatima. So I repeat for my brothers and the production team, uh, Najah, Musulmani, Latif, Rami, and Fatima. And uh, Kafarani, please help us. We love you. Labbayk ya Hussein, inshallah, sister, that your you and your family, your sons, your husband, and uh, your entire family, inshallah ta'ala, will, uh, will be living the blessings of the Ahlul Bayt, alayhim uh, salam Sayyida Alina Abbas Bukhari says, Salam brother, convey my salutations to Mawla Hussein, alayhi salam and Mawla Abbas, alayhi salam and pray for us so that we can visit the Holy Land of uh, Karbala, Insha'Allah Ta'ala, Insha'Allah Ta'ala, my sister, that you will get to uh, be in the Holy Land of Karbala, that you will get to visit the Holy Land of Karbala and perform the pilgrimage from within the Holy Shrine of Imam Hussein, peace and blessings of Allah be upon them. Uh, I believe I have a phone call. We have also Sister Kasum Jum'ah, uh, the phone call. Uh, wa alaikum salam, brother.
of course. Uh, of course, uh, and uh, as you see now, my brother, uh, it is the Holy Land of Karbala, and it is the area of between the Holy Shrines of Imam Hussein and his brother Abdul Fadl Abbas, peace and blessings of Allah be upon them. And my brothers in the projection room will give you this, uh, will give your sight the uh, footages from the Holy Shrine, footages from the Holy Doms of Imam Hussein and his brother Abdul Fadl Abbas. So pour out your hearts, say your hajat and du'as and salutations to the Holy Imams. Go on, my brother. Insha'Allah, brother, that you will get uh, the blessings of the Ahlul Bayt that will, uh, that will lead you to, uh, to all that is good for you. And insha'Allah, you get accepted in your uh, new job. And that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and your family. And, and insha'Allah ta'ala that you will uh, get called to be in the Holy Land of Karbala. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, my brother. And fi uh, amanullah ta'ala. Uh, now, my brothers, back to your uh, comments and names uh, on Facebook. Uh, Sister Kulsum Jum'a says, says, uh, it was just there, miss it already. And of course, Sister uh, Kinzai Fatima says, salams to Aba Abdullah and Hussein. Uh, kindly pray that may I be Blessed with the ziyarah, this Arba'een, insha'Allah, sister, that with the blessings of the Ahlul Bayt, alayhim salam, that you will get to be called to the Holy Land of Karbala, to be called to perform the pilgrimage from within the Holy Shrine of Imam Hussein, alayhi salam, uh, to get to be uh, served by the servants of the Ahlul Bayt, and insha'Allah ta'ala, you'll find all of us here at your service, not only you, but all the brothers and sisters that intend to come to the Holy Land of Karbala, don't be afraid, just come to the Holy Land of Karbala. You'll find several translators and several uh, people that are willing to serve you without even the need to translation. Uh, and insha'Allah ta'ala, you will get to feel all of that in the Holy Land of Karbala. And insha'Allah ta'ala, you will get to be called by the Holy Imam and his brother Abu al-Fadl Abbas to be here, to feel the blessings of, uh, of the Holy Imam and the Ahlul Bayt alayhim salam. Agha Ali Hasnain says, Assalamu uh, alaikum, please convey my humblest salams at the Holy Shrine and offer ziyara on behalf of my parents, entire family and me uh, also. And remember all of us in your dua, Jazakallah. Thank you very much, my brother. Uh, and inshallah, you will be among my dua under the Holy Dome where all the hajat are fulfilled by the blessings of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Sister Birak Hussein uh, uh, is watching us, and I believe Sister Birak Hussein is on the phone. Salamu alaikum, Sister. I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Alhamdulillah, Sister. Of course. Uh, Insha'Allah Ta'ala and uh, uh, is there any particular occasions uh, at your place? Is there any particular uh, majalis that are taking place uh, at, your pl at, at, at there right now? Insha'Allah. Insha'Allah Ta'ala. Insha'Allah with Tawfiq for those uh, servants at uh, you know, whatever their situations are. Now, do you have anything special to say to the Holy Land of Karbala with this auspicious occasion?
Insha'Allah, sister, it is constantly the prayer for you and uh, all the brothers and sisters brought to be in the Holy Land of Karbala to feel the blessings of the Ahlul Bayt السلام, and to feel the spiritual utmost movements uh, from within the area of between the Holy Land of uh, Karbala. Thank you very much, sister, for calling us. Fi Amanullah. Uh, prayers for you and your family are often conducted under the Holy Dharma of Imam Hussein. Thank you very much, my sister. Fi Amanullah. Uh, now I have uh, Zawar Shah Waz Babar says Salam Ya Mawla Abbas, Salam Ya Mawla Hussein alayhi salam. He also says, uh, bro, please pray for my mom, inshallah, brother, that your salutations, so let's start with them one by one, uh, that the first thing, your salutations will be uh, delivered to the Holy Imam and to his Holy Dom and of course for your mom to be remembered uh, in prayers under the Holy Dom of Imam Hussein. And inshallah, at this moment, the Imam uh, is listening to you, uh, I'm sure, is listening to me also, because the Imam is uh, from uh, within our hearts. He can know uh, what we feel and uh, the calamities and the, the, the difficulties that we are passing through. But however, prayers to your mother, inshallah, under the Holy Dom of Imam Hussein will be conducted. Uh, Brother Mahmoud Al Husseini says, "Kul am wa antum bi alf khair bi munasaba zawaj al nur min al nur al Imam Ali min al Sayyida Fatima al Zahra alayhi salam." And of course, uh, Al Rafidi Sajjad says, uh, "As salam ya Aba Abdullah Al Hussein alayhi salam." Inshallah, brother, that your salutation will be uh, accepted by the Imam. Fahim Abbas said, Iltimasi dua, insha'Allah, brother, not only for you, but for all our brothers and sisters, for all the lovers of the Ahlul Bayt, we often pray for you in the Holy Land of Karbala, from within the Holy Shrine, under the Holy Dome of Imam Hussein. Agha Ali Hasnain says, uh, heartiest felicitations and congratulations on the uh, Aqad i Mubarak of Mawla Imam Ali alayhi salam and Bibi Fatima Zahra alayhi uh, Thank you very much my brother inshallah that with this auspicious occasion that you are granted the blessings and shafa'a of Amir al muminin and uh, Lady Fatima peace and blessings of Allah be upon them. And War Sayyid says uh, Salam Mawla Hussein alayhi salam Salam Mawla Abbas alayhi salam uh, Mawla Hamari I believe that's, that's not uh, English, but whatever you say, inshallah, brother, that you will get to feel the blessings of the Ahlul Bayt, alayhi salam. And now we have a phone call. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. How do you do, my brother? Uh, you're live now from uh, within the holy land of Karbala. Uh, at the very beginning, could you please introduce yourself and where are you from? Uh, Insha'Allah. Brother, do you have anything to say uh, to the Holy Land of Karbala, to the Holy Imam and his brother Abu Fadl Abbas, peace and blessings of Allah be upon them? Insha'Allah. So my brothers and the production team are showing you now footages from the Holy Land of Karbala, from the Holy Shrine of Imam Hussein. So please pour out your heart to the Imam and feel the blessings. Arabic, yes I speak Arabic. Uh, yes brother? No worries, no worries. I believe we lost uh, the phone call. Thank you very much, uh, my brother, and inshallah that your dua is accepted and your ziyara 
will be uh, a ziyara for will be written for you and inshallah the shafa'a of Imam Hussein is granted for you thank you very much uh, my brother as uh, for the for the uh, rest of the names inshallah the brothers uh, will be uh, will be writing them and of course delivering them to the uh, holy shrine of Imam Hussein I uh, believe that we have uh, a few messages uh, on the screen uh, a few messages on uh, uh, on on WhatsApp. They will. The production team are telling me that it will appear on the screen. All right. Ali from London says, Peace be upon you, O Master of Martyrs. Uh, Brother Qasim says, uh, Salam, and uh, I used to be by your side, and sh I wish to be by your side. Uh, and inshallah, uh, brother, that you will be here in the Holy Land of Karbala. Thank you very much, uh, my dear viewers, for joining us uh, during our show. I leave you now with footages from the Holy Shrines of Imam Hussein and his brother Abu Fadl Abbas. Peace and blessings of Allah be upon them. Uh, thank you again for joining us. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.